We're with uh, Jacob Schmidt, 2019 News Herald Hockey Player of the Year, Lake Catholic Senior Forward. Uh, Jacob, you know, you guys uh, had a good uh, improvement from a one-loss standpoint. You guys won 11 games each of the last uh, two seasons, were able to win 21 this year, uh, had a, a nice win over Eds, uh, were competitive with U.S., uh, were able to beat Menor. But w- was there one particular highlight as far as a game this year from your standpoint? I think definitely the Eds game was probably our biggest one this year. Everybody was rolling that game, had a lot of energy going into it, and putting up the win against them, I think, was our biggest win. You know, obviously with the numbers that you guys had this year, you were going to get the best that any team on the opposite bench had for you from a defensive standpoint. What does it mean to you to have that kind of respect for, you know, you and Cole and Amadeo when you guys are rolling as a line that teams want to pay so much attention to you? Um, It means a lot. You know, obviously the numbers were kind of against us this year and last year. And I expect in the, in, the, in the years to come, but um, to have that respect as a line, and you know, even like the papers, like in the articles that you write and stuff, and being considered like a threat on the ice is, it's really um, an honor, and it just shows how much like hard work pays off. And, how respected we are in the community for what we do. And, and the, the chemistry was so good. And I mean, obviously it was tough. You know, Cole missed about a month there. And, you know, Amadeo, you know, is usually a defenseman, but he's playing a lot of forward this year. How were you guys able to get the chemistry so good on that line with all the circumstances presented? Um, I think it just goes back to playing in years past. Um, back on the Jacks, I was with Cole for a couple of years. And in years past, playing with like Team Ohio, I was with Amadeo. So, I think it's just past experience kind of like gelled together and I think each of each kind of aspect of our games complement each other so like you know Cole can put the puck in the net from basically wherever he wants and then just a media works hard and can get the puck in the zone we just kind of help each other out and Make each other look good, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, uh, like you mentioned, I mean, there, there's a concern here for the future, you know, with, you know, nine, you know, nine guys, uh, you know, the 14 are seniors. Uh, so, uh, you know, Dan's going to have his work cut out, you know, obviously to build the numbers up. How c- concerned are you right now for the future of the program? Um, I, don't, I don't have too many concerns about it. I know Mr. Fritchie's going to do a good job as far as recruiting and bringing in kids and, you know, the returning players are going to do a good job with, um, you know, building the kids up that are coming in and helping them, like, settle into the high school atmosphere as far as hockey goes. So as far as concerns, I don't really have any. I think kids will look and hopefully kind of see, like, the season that we had this year with some of the wins that we put together that, you know, Lake Catholic is is a good choice and they would be a good fit if they were to go there as far as playing sports and hockey. What do you hope is the legacy that you've left behind for this program now that uh, your uh, career has come to a close? Um, just don't lose hope. Don't give up. You know, things are stacked against you a lot and like adversity comes and goes, but you just got to battle through it. And with hard work, you, you know, you can really get through anything and put up a good season, a good fight. 